Hello everybody and welcome back. Thanks very much for joining me. I'm Cam Christo and this is the as of yet unnamed French campaign in Mayo and Taxes 3.0. We're currently taking parts of Provence in this war. And uh, yeah, wondering why the uh, religious education suddenly flipped unprofitable. Has it done that everywhere? No, it's still profitable down here. And in Paris? Yeah, it's still profitable there. So it must be some kind of local condition to Lyonnais. I wonder... Oh, hang on. No, it's making 30% now. Okay, it was just last year that it was making a loss. I guess there was less demand for knowledge last year for some reason. Church taxes taking from religious, religious education? No, that just takes from... Um, just direct clergy income. So that shouldn't matter. No, that, that wouldn't drive up the... Uh, I don't think that would drive up the labor, labor costs for clergy anyway. It would just mean that, uh, yeah, there go, okay, there goes our truces. So England has allied with Portugal, which is annoying. They, they'll bring a few men. But we've got 40,000 men. And England has got 9,000 manpower. Yeah, we do outnumber England. So we, I think we should be able to retake Aquitaine in, the, in a big war against them. But you know what? While we're engaged down here, give me a delegate tax code. Let's crush England. Let's spend like 33 military points this year. And let's just hammer the hell out of them. We should do it immediately, right? Let's raise, let's raise an army to destroy England with. I guess it's only on the yearly tick that it'll update. Hey, nice. Good war breach on Siena there. And Siena we will definitely uh, we will definitely loot. But yeah, we'll raise it. We'll raise a big army and we'll stomp all over Aquitaine. Reclaim the glorious French core lands. And then we'll be in uh, should be in good shape. Got to speed four. Austria would like military access. I kind of want them to win, just so that they're an interesting rival for us. So yeah, I'm going to grant that military access. Uh, no. Naples. No doing that. Just as after I increase the speed, so I react slower. But Do we have a general available? No. I really don't want to stop the Siege of Siena, of course. But I think we've reinforced enough. We should be able to stop them. Yeah, good stuff. Leaving behind these guys, the rest of you just back up. Cool. Good stuff. Alright. Stability wise, still going down by quite a lot. Time for another green dole. Time for another bit of tax relief, I think. Back up to level one. Good stuff. Meanwhile, how are our relations with the factions? Still pretty... <laughs> yeah, still pretty negative. Spiritualists are down 32. But they're trending up. The resting points, anyway. The loyalties are trending down. But, uh... Yeah, it's a good thing the Aristrats are still positive while we're doing this big... Big levy-raising exercise. Because once they get disloyal, levy taxes get substantially more expensive. Which effectively just means you levy less men. Pushing through this wooded mountain province is going to be a little painful. We're approaching the amount of money we need for the ba that better irrigation up in Picardy. Is there a special map? Let's, let's take a look at special map modes for a sec. Is there a way for us to say, hey, special map modes. Change the active map mode. Change the type. No, hang on. Let's, let's set this up as a, as a saved map mode. I haven't done much with this special map mode stuff, but... Let's set a slot. I want an economy map mode type. I want to know about... I guess I'm trying to look for like provinces that are making a lot of money for whatever reason. And then we can look at those provinces and say, right, let's ingress in this infrastructure to help with that. I guess per capita wealth. Select the scope. All my owned provinces. Get a value range. Give me a linear 0 to 30. 
yellow to green, full color scale, save in slot one. Non-owned province, no, it should be owned province. View slot one. Yeah, so this is doing the wrong thing. <laughs> Um, let's try that again. Special map modes. Page one. Uh, t -t 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 this slot. Per capita wealth. Hey, it's working. Okay. So Picardy is a bit richer. Obviously Paris. Down here, down here. And then all of these provinces are richer than the north. Why is that? What's going on here that's making lots of money? Mostly, mostly rural, like 287 rural compared to up here. How are you doing it rural wise? Uh, 300, maybe it's just less populous. Maybe what we should be looking for, if we go to custom, oops, custom up page, page one and then set slot. So we're gonna set up a new slot. Economy, yeah, crop output. All my owned provinces, get value range, linear, Yellow to green, full color scale, save in slot two. View slot two, but then it doesn't work when you first do it for some reason, so reopen it. One, view slot two. Hmm. Well, that didn't really work. Why didn't it get the scale from the relevant provinces? Has it done it now? Hmm. Interesting. Show active map mode data. Owned crop with a 32 color resolution, but output, for some reason everywhere's output is like none and it's not showing up. Weird. Let's try again. Chunk. Page two. Set slot to the current map mode. No. That's not what I wanted. Page one. Slot two. Ah, I don't. I still. I'm. I'm. I need. I need to just get to grips with this. Yellow, red, yellow, green colors. Thirty-two color resolution. Is it, it must be because the value scale is set wrong. Uh, set a map slot. Economy. Crop output. All my own provinces. Get value range. Try absolute linear. Full color scale. Slot two. Do slot two. And that's done it wrong again. Why does it keep putting it in the wrong scope? Page one. View two. Hey, there we go. Okay. So crop output, not that helpful because it's super out, uh, super high output in all these areas, but because there's the dyes, it's more expensive. Should we, are we able to like open dye industries in other provinces or is it because there's specifically like dye here? Natural deposits, sea salt dye. I guess that's two different deposits. It's sea salt and dye. But what about if we like, Special map mode. Set slot. Is it under other? Like, can we see, like, where's the die? River sections, average temperature, crop growing period, is economy, metal deposit, ivory site, coal site. What about die site, though? Hmm. Well, we could look at precious metals in Europe. Absolute linear. Regular green. Full color scale. Slot three. The slot three. It's weird how it kind of work doesn't work, and then you have to close it and then open it, and then it works. Okay, there we go. Cool. So here is where there is precious metals in Europe. That's a fun map mode. Wow, there's a bunch up here, apparently. What's going on up here? 
Some gold. So we want to take these provinces and get some bullion going. So Cummings, are you already my subjects? Yeah, you're a feudatory, so we can't get that yet. What about down here? There's some silver going on in Aragon down here. And then that shows up as a mining industry, right? Yeah, silver. It's got 99 throughput. And I can see there's a total. So it's making 15 ducats off mining resources. Yeah, so we want to try and take that province at some point. And then where else? Obviously Tyrol. There's a bunch down in the Balkans. Yeah, none of the rest of these are really in our grasp. Maybe here? But it doesn't show up. What kind of industry is it? Is it marble? Is that what's showing up as a valuable metal? Seems unlikely, right? Hmm, just says metal. Hang on, does it say it in the list? Maize, millet, wheat, barley. I think it's the I think it's the marble, which is interesting. They have got some mines making lots of money. Wow. Yeah, lots of money in mines in this province. Well, we would like to take that off them. Anyway, back to the war. Let's burn down Siena, shall we? So Siena, war deaths. Oh, hey, I can see the war deaths of this province. Maybe it's just provinces I have vision on? No. Why, are, why aren't these ones showing war deaths, but this one is? It's odd. But yeah, no war deaths due to looting yet. Let's see what happens when we win this siege. Because, I mean, that didn't seem like very many that we killed. Although I guess the cities aren't very large yet. Where it says... Oh, excuse me. Where it says 36.918. I'm pretty sure that means 36,918 people. So, Fall of Siena. No one dead to looting yet. But if I loot them... Boom. Suddenly it killed... I mean, 6,900 urban. Out of a... That's like a, a quarter of the city. That's a lot. <clears throat> that is that is quite a few. Quite a few people just got taken out right there. Let's move our armies south. Good stuff. That freaking siege is all still going on. You guys still hanging out in Rome, huh? Seems like a bad idea. Hey, we win. Good. You guys can come south now. Can you walk into here? No, I'm going to have to cut through a bruisey first. And now can I see... Now I have vision on you. Can I see your war deaths? No. Strange. Centers of production. They do nothing anymore, right? Oh, no, they help urban output and industrial infrastructure costs. Okay. So they just help, help in production centers snowball, basically. How many merchants do you get from a major center of trade? 1.5. So as soon as we take Provence, we're going to get an extra merchant. That's pretty cool. Oh, hey, Sienna, you can go, by the way. No no need for us to keep them in the war. Once these guys are down here, anyway. Well, no, they should. we should still have conditional military access, because they're going to be allied to, to you. Could vassalize you. Could vassalize Massa. Hmm, they're a personal union. Take Massa. <laughs> Get an immediate coalition. I guess this causes so much aggressive expansion because it's in the Empire. Yeah, I don't know why that didn't occur to me earlier. I'll take your cash and war reps. And I guess that's it. End of, end of rivalry. That'll do. Hey, 35 jackets, not nothing. We can now afford the uh, irrigation upgrade. Let's do it. So, yes, how much peasant labor have we got here? <clears throat> right now, there are 13.2 units of peasant labor available in the province. So, build infrastructure. Five units is going to take 15, which is slightly more than there is available peasantry. But that's okay. I think slightly more is not a problem. Oh, it's gone up. Why has it gone up by so much? What the heck? What does this stuff cost? Raw and peasant labor. I guess raw has got a bunch more expensive. We could take a look at, at trade, by the way. So in Paris, this is 
And this should be the... Yes, yeah, so this is the summary for Spain. Sorry, for France, not Spain. Right now, we we have a, you know, a good trade balance. We're exporting more than we're importing. We're uh, national slash domestic. I don't really know what that means. I guess that's what we're selling versus what we're buying, maybe? Like, domestically produced stuff versus nationally purchased? Nah, I'm not sure. Sectors are all the provinces that one country owns in a node. And they trade with each other. And then they send stuff out to the provinces, basically. Local is how much net profit is made from selling versus buying locally. What's sold, purchased, abstraction, uh, represent interactions with other sectors. Intermediary is the money that was taxed in the sector. uses a connection for others to go through. So we're making a fair amount on intermediary just for stuff that's like being produced here, moved to here, and then sold up here. That's cool. And this place has an extra modifier because it's the sector capital, or whatever you'd call it. Which is why you can see this rather than just this. I'm not quite sure what here is. Okay. We're selling a bunch more food than we're buying. Okay, salt is something that we're importing. This is good. Okay, salt, fuel, and raw are things we're importing. And raw, raw is what is needed for that irrigation upgrade in Picardy. So that makes sense. Why it would be getting more expensive. Because we're not producing enough raw locally. Okay. Well, what industries produce raw? I'm pretty sure that's just mining. No, raw, I guess we'd see that in industry. In outputs. Fiber, food, knowledge, knowledge. Fuel, food. Fiber, fiber, rural. Okay, raw. Ah, oh, no, it's input. Uh, I don't think we're making any raw here. How about in Picardy itself? It's got inputs. Okay, timber outputs some raw. Anything else? Sea salt? That no, just produces salt. Fair enough. <laughs> that makes all kinds of sense. Okay, it looks like timber is producing raw. What else is producing raw? There must be some mining. Let's have a look for a, for a mining industry. Yeah, metal. Is metal raw? Metal produces, yeah, raw. Lots of raw output from metal. Okay, let's invest in the um, in the metal industry here. It's got 100% throughput, and it's making a decent profit. How much is it worth right now? 30. Yeah, let's invest in the uh, in the mines here. And where else have we got some some mines going on? No champagne? Any any mining? No. Here? Nope. Here? There's got to be a better way to do this. Yeah, I guess we could have a map mode that just look for mines. Yeah, go on, let's set that up. Once we've set it up, we'll keep it, so. You can also conduct a census to see what you have death cell. That's a good point. That's a good point, we can. Uh, it's a good point, actually. Maybe, maybe... Where's the sector capital here? Maybe the raw here is, is being exported. No, we actually still have a net negative raw in this sector as well, our sector in the channel. We should probably embargo England, huh? Yeah, let's embargo England. Because I don't want to be... Well... We already embargo England because we have like less than 100 opinion. But we might as well embargo them just for the... Um, uh, power protection. But yes, if you have less than 100 relations with, with another nation, you don't trade with them. Yeah, so page one. Well, hang on. No, actually, let's let's start trying to create a, a system for ourselves. Page two is going to be our decide where to invest stuff. So in page two, we're going to have a other. Oh, sorry. No, it's like map mode slot. Economy map mode. Metal deposit. In my own provinces. Get value range. Absolute linear. Yellow to green. 32. Save in slot 9. View slot 9. And then reopen it for some reason. It just doesn't work the first time. Page 2. View slot 9. 
Okay, so Normandy. God, we have very few metal deposits. So there should be no mines in any of these provinces. Is that correct? Looks like it. Well, there's sea salt, which is technically a mine, but it's not metal. Okay, so the only other mine we have is down here. No wonder we haven't got enough raw production. And here we should be able to see that, yes, we have metal, which is outputting raw. But not very much. It's a very small mine here. I think because rock salt is, is so dominant, basically. Yeah, the mines... Well, there is room. There's room for another, you know, 23... Mine property. Yes, yeah, so the difficulty here is that the rock salt is 135, whereas the metal is 1.4. And the metal is making less pr uh, profit than the rock salt. But we need the raw, so let's invest in mines here. Cool. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, back to war. <laughs> Saving map modes is broken. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Bum, bum, bum. We could also check timber, actually, now I think about it. Maybe investing in provinces that we're already trying to build up. You got a timber output? No. About about you, since we're investing in you already. Well, no, we probably want to spread the investment, actually. There's some timber here, making decent profit. Let's invest in some forestry. Any timber? I like the idea, that's that's another objective, I think, for this campaign. I like the idea of trying to establish autarky, like self-reliance in terms of resource production. It was a, a big thing in World War II Axis powers, trying to establish autarky. Another yearly tick. What is my decision to open? Right, right, because we have Piccadilly selected. God, I really wish we'd bought that irrigation a little bit earlier, right? The price of raw skyrocketing. All right, so there's the burden of taxation event, and we got an extra 7,000 manpower. Nice. Pretty good. Pretty good. It's a slow war against Naples, this one. It's taking us many years. But that means that by the time we win, we're going to be able to call in... Um, Burgundy. And by Burgundy, I mean Bohemia, to help against England, which would be good. Influence of court still growing for the bureaucrats. We don't have to re-click this, I don't think. Pretty cool. Still growing. State alignment is still active. How long is state alignment active for? It's not bureaucratic expansion. It's not bureaucratic reforms. Where is that? I can't see which um what's state alignment? Doesn't seem to be any of these. Hmm. I guess that's set as a, as a nation flag rather than as a country modifier. I don't like it when it sets things as flags. Flags, if you're not familiar, are like a, they're a code thing attached to the country, but you can't actually see them unless you're in debug mode. Should I be focusing on a particular type of monarch point right now? Maybe admin to try and get towards the next idea group because bureaucracy ideas is so good. Yeah, let's focus admin, because um, bureaucracy ideas just seems really good. Like, this one seems insanely good. Trade disputes against Aragon. Yeah, we should, well, should we embargo them? It's going to be a costly trade embargo, but... And they presumably already hate us. No, actually, <laughs> Aquitaine's kind of cool with us. And they are a march. Sorry, an overseas possession, which doesn't actually have a isn't in this list to tell us what that does. Fair enough. Are we going to bother sieging down a level 3 coastal fort at this stage in the game? Probably not, right? This must be the... Uh, where's the sector capital in the south? It's got to be... Uh, it's probably Lyonnais. Yeah. How are you doing? Wow, well, they're... they're the only thing they're exporting is salt, basically. Salt and food. 
Bourbonnais reverts to the crown. The death of Bourbonnais' Duchess Regent without a male heir has rendered the house extinct in the male lane. As the lands of Bourbonnais are originally granted as an appendage to the crown, the title now legally crosses, passes to Jean II, Le Bon. However, the estates of Bourbonnais have made it clear they intend to continue. The domain to continue existing as a separate entity, something they know, regardless of present reassurances, will eventually cease if I take possession of it. It's property of the crown. It will stay that way or confer the title upon a relative. It will serve us either way. Well... Which is Bourbonnet? That's this one, right? It's going to come down to whether you have any metal. <laughs> you got some timber. Got some timber. Pretty big timber. 41. 41 and 15. I don't know. I kind of want that timber in my country. Because when they're a junior partner, then you're able to start actually making progress towards integrating them. Oh, wow. And pretty quickly. We're going to be able to integrate Burgundy in 18 years. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Uh, if it legally passes to me, it legally passes to me. And that's just the way it's going to be. I'll improve relations with them. You like this flag? Yeah, not France. <laughs> it does look like they're trying to send us a message, doesn't it? So it's your fault for having timber. We need it to, to build irrigation in the north. God, as we get better at this mod, and knowing things like that becomes more and more viable, it's going to be so cool. Like, being able to, to actually make decisions based on all that kind of stuff. You know, calculating should, where should we conquer if we need more more raw resources so we can upgrade our irrigation, we need to conquer more areas of raw and invest in our uh, you know, forestry. So cool, man. This looks cursed to your new player brain. Don't worry. It's beautiful, really. It takes some, some getting used to, but it's beautiful, really. And yeah, Burgundy has cooled down about the fact that we uh, personally union them, it looks like. And kept them under us. I wonder if that will happen every time our ruler dies, though. That could be a little problematic. Say, like, keep... Come on, 99, are you kidding me? <clears throat> the area in Savoy you should own has massive forestry potential. That is a sweet tip. But who got them, by the way? Hey, Austria actually lost that civil war. They are indeed under Gulders. That's funny. Let's have a look here. Existing, 28. 106. There it is, baby. There's the raw resources. 119. 80 there. 76 there. How about up in the mountains? Less there. Six. <laughs> but yeah, this is, this is a forestry that I intend to nationalize. Bum, ba, da, da. Anything else I can do? I could align the cabinet again. Lose one more stability. Um, Probably shouldn't though, right? Do you need the bureaucratic influence to keep getting up there? I'm a little concerned about how pissed off we made all the factions resting points. But I also really want to... Uh, I want to do this. But this actually makes them happy rather than unhappy. So this shouldn't cause issues like the uh, the extra tithes did. We're still recovering from recent reforms though. So when can we actually do it again? It's one of these. This one. Not for another two years. I'm being told by chat that there are also massive timber provinces in North America. That makes all kinds of sense. The zone north of Savoy by Burgundy. Let's have a look here. Oh baby, another 109. Another 50. Yeah, pretty good. How about the actual Burgundian lands? Not that much. Not that much. Still, any forestry is good forestry right now. And time to actually move into the capital now. And take the level 3 siege leader with us. Good stuff. 
You put the nobles down to zero loyalty and got a 78,000 strong noble revolt. Yeah, we're not going to do that. They're at, they're at 79 loyalty. <clears throat> it's just that their trending is a little bit bad. But that's, that's nothing we can't manage. We just don't want Metropolitan Influence to go below 20 because then we won't be able to do the... Oh, no, actually, because we can... The, the Metropolitan is 20 influence. So as long as they don't go below 10, we can still use this to get that... Um, that increased commerce right past. You were supposed to go via a bruisey. We're not going to take attrition with our men. Good stuff. Yeah, we should be okay in the in the short term because they they're super loyal, and they're only trending down to minus sixteen. And by the time it actually gets down to zero, that minus sixteen will already be like minus five or whatever. It's not too bad. Let's get the war goal under our belt. We'll send the uh, the other general to the war goal. Oh, right, yeah, and this one's a, a target as well, isn't it? How's our manpower doing? Still 47,000 cap. Not too bad. Not too bad. We are going to try and stay Catholic, but if, if Protestantism sweeps over us, then who am I to stand in the way of the tide of history? <clears throat> I know Giga has been doing a lot of work on Protestantism recently. Plus, getting involved in the, uh, the religious war in the Empire would be fun. Up another couple of thousand manpower to 48.1. Not bad. Not bad at all. Didn't they remove instant stack wipes? Like the 10 times larger stack wipes? Or is that in 31? No, it looks like it was in this one. They removed that. Cool. Thought so. Oh, crap. I didn't notice this attack at all. Uh, do we make any progress here yet? How about here? Let me click on it. Made one here. Okay, so I'd rather not. Oh, crap. No, please merge with me. Guys. How about here? Come on, guys. All right, it's Artois, Burgundy, and Alan Con. Artois... Go aggressive. Burgundy. Go aggressive. Alan Con. Go aggressive. Get in here. Get in here. Come on. Yes, we got him. We got him. You can turn around. Nice. We even kicked him out with uh, higher casualties on their side. Sweet. You can go here. You can stay up there. Do, 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 do. Oh, we can actually advance straight away into uh, other parts of the country, which we will absolutely do. You three stay up here. You three go here, and then we'll move this lot down here to block off their advance. Although obviously, we don't want to fight them in the mountains if they're going to get the bonus, ideally. But Fall of Foggy. We are going to loot all of these. Because they shouldn't have resisted for this long. They're delaying the recl reclamation of Aquitaine. Don't they know the harm they're causing? Oh, this is actually a different province. I didn't realize. <laughs> you leave behind three guys. And the rest. Come on down. And guess everyone should be set back to supportive now. Well, I mean... I guess I could set them to siege, actually. Yeah, that seems more appropriate. We're probably actually just going to take Provence because it's part of the Empire right now, which means taking all of this would be a bit dangerous. Although, <laughs> any mines? Ah, oh, there are mines here. Which means now I really want to take them. No mines here. Oh, there's no mines here, but there could be 300. I bet it's because there's coal. Yeah. Oh, there's 120 mines here, though. Nice. Ah, oh, it's all sea salt. Oh, this one's probably all sea salt as well. Yeah, it's all sea salt, so I don't really care. But there is some timber. 18 timber here. 10 timber here. Yeah. We need the raw for, for Picardy. Anyway, this is a war we're going to end in the next episode. Till then, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Go. -bye.